So how do you avoid inheritance tax? Well, one of the strategies that I have deployed, which is something that you can do, and that's just leave the United Kingdom. Check out this video for more details. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants, and in this video, I want to get back to tax. I've been talking about house prices and indexes, and it's been interesting and fascinating, but I do need to get back to the world of tax ready. And it's about inheritance tax, and if you are been watching my videos, you may realize that I have a British accent, but I do not live in the United Kingdom. I actually live in Spain. And why is that? Well, one of the reasons is I want to pay less income tax on the dividends I take out of my UK company, and I don't want to be paying any inheritance tax. Forgive me, but if I don't want to pay tax to HMRC, I don't have to. And that's something I want to share with you. You can avoid paying inheritance tax on your death in its entirety. And I want to go through this because it's something that I have done personally, and it's something that you can do as well. Uh, I left the UK because of the rain, the taxes. I came to Spain because I don't have the taxes and I have the sunshine. So which country would you like to move to and why? Put in your comments in the boxes below. Uh, this is a page from the UK website, HMRC, so feel free to pause this video, get the URL and read the reports yourself. But what I want to talk about is this video is going to talk about how you go from this, paying £400,000 worth of IHT to HMRC to zero. And that is certainly something that everyone should be looking to plan ahead. There are some QR codes on the right hand side. So if you do need some property tax advice, make sure that you scan the QR code. The description uh, will also contain the URLs. And if you need a buy to let mortgage as well, use the QR code for that. And uh, again, the link is in the description box. So feel free to use those. Um, so what is subject to inheritance tax? Well, you've got things like cash and savings, some money you have in your bank account, your ISAs. ISAs are subject to IHT, even though they're not subject to CGT or income tax. Property and related investments, so whether that's commercial property, residential property, your home, still subject to inheritance tax. Luxury items such as art, jewelry, cars, etc., all subject to IHT. But there are some exceptions to IHT and they are as follows. Pensions, trade and agricultural businesses, but you do need very careful planning on that. Don't just assume just because you've seen this on YouTube, you are now an expert in inheritance tax and say to HMRC, well, I have a trade business, therefore I don't have to pay IHT on it. This video is not enough for that. You do need to get some t careful tax planning. Gifts uh, for seven years, and I'll touch on that later on. Um, well, actually, I'll just talk about that quickly. If you make a gift to someone and you die within seven years, then it will be still be subject to a discounted level of inheritance tax. If you gift an asset away and you survive for seven years, then it will be no inheritance tax at all. Um, you can do trust again, but very careful planning, uh, please, on that. Don't assume just because of this YouTube video that this covers everything because it really doesn't, unfortunately. Foreigners. If you are from a different country, America, Hong Kong, um, or from New Zealand, places that have very little inheritance tax, if any, um, coming to the UK, you do need to be aware that if you pass away, then with up to 15 years, your inheritance tax will be based on your UK assets. But as soon as you've been in the country for more than 15 years, you are deemed domiciled which means your worldwide assets are now subject to inheritance tax. So be very, very careful about that. So moving on from inheritance tax, we need to think about what the uh, rates are. So we've got 325,000 lifetime allowance. This is the amount of money that you could pass on to your children without paying any inheritance tax at all. You have the residential nil rate band as well. So if you have a home that's beyond the 325, that too will be free from inheritance tax. So every individual could be allowed up to £500,000 worth of IHT lifetime allowances without paying inheritance tax, which is great. That is doubled up as a couple. If you are someone who is in a couple, one passes away, giving your assets away, you also transfer your IHT lifetime allowances bands to them as well. So they will retain that £1 million worth of IHT allowances provided about your home being above 325 Again, careful tax planning, please, on that. 
Uh, just assuming an example here, three million pounds worth of assets. Uh, when you look at inheritance tax, we do need to lower your gross market values by your liabilities. So if you have loans and mortgages, credit cards or anything things like that, that would reduce your gross asset value. And in this case, we've got two million pounds worth of net asset values. Uh, the two million pounds net asset value then would get uh, would be reduced by the million pounds worth of inheritance tax lifetime allowance that I just discussed earlier. Please pause this video, rewind it if you need to. Um, so your one million pounds worth of ITU lifetime allowance for a couple, bearing in mind, would remain one million pounds would be subject to UK inheritance tax. Now, what does that really mean? Well. If you've got one million pounds worth of assets in the UK or worldwide, if you're born in the UK, then 400,000 pounds would be payable to HMRC. That's 40% of the net asset value after your in, in lifetime allowances. 400,000 pounds to HMRC, an incredible amount of money. And I think that's just ridiculous. Um, I'll be paying zero. So what do you think to that? And you could do the same thing. Um, I've put a uh, website online. You can have a look at this. There are other sources of information to give you the same information, but this is just a quite a nice summary. Uh, it says list of countries by inheritance tax rate. So feel free to pause the video, get the URL about that. Uh, you will notice at the top of the page, Japan 55% inheritance tax. That's incredible, isn't it? But we don't want to be focusing on that, do we? We want to be focusing on 0% and that's what I've got to share, you, share with you now. The countries on this page, you will see that they are all 0% inheritance tax. And I know full well that I have a lot of clients from Hong Kong um, and I will always say to them, well, if you're coming to the UK, don't forget inheritance tax. If you're going back to Hong Kong within the 14 year period, not a problem, but you will still have to face UK inheritance tax if you have assets in the United Kingdom, okay? If you move and you sell everything and you go back to Hong Kong as the example, uh, then there'll be no inheritance tax to worry about. But which of these countries, and there are more countries than this, by the way, at the 0% rate, but which one of these countries have you thought about living in? And why? Put in your comments box below. Um, I'd be really fascinated to see if you've done any inheritance tax planning whereby you're looking to leave the country. Um, again, tell me your experiences of doing this. So how does it work when you leave the United Kingdom? And this is where you really need to take some time, get with an advisor because you could trip up quite easily. People think, well, if I used to leave the UK, it could, it could be one year, two years. Look, this is really requires you to invest money into this. Don't just watch this YouTube video. Look at a few websites and think, oh, I'm an expert on this and go for it because there have been some famous uh, actors, actresses that have fallen foul of this particular inheritance tax planning. Don't fall into the same trap. I know it's cheap to watch this YouTube video. I know it's cheap to watch your, uh, some videos, but trust me, if you get this wrong, it's uh, gonna be an expensive damaging cost to your family by your mistakes. So the big thing I would say is get some real advice here. Now, when we talk about planning, you have to sell off your UK assets and that, that's a big thing. Now, I did talk about my trade business is still the United Kingdom, but it's a trade business. So there are ways of mitigating that. Get some careful planning, please. Um, albeit I know I'm safeguarded, it doesn't mean that you will be. So my UK business will not be subject to inheritance tax, but you know, you do need to get some careful planning. But you need to sell your UK assets. Anything that remains in the United Kingdom will still be subject to UK inheritance tax. So if you want to avoid inheritance tax altogether in the UK and you move to Portugal, for instance, then you have to sell all your UK assets. You get your money and you move a country. And you think, well, yeah, but Simon, I'm going to be paying capital gains tax. But capital gains tax, and let's not forget, on certain assets goes all the way up to 28%, not 40%. So it depends which way you do it. You can also take very careful CGT planning to minimize that down to zero. Again, get some good tax advice. Okay, you sold your assets and you'd have to leave the country. How long for, do people say? Forever, that's the point. 
if you want to pay no UK hidden heritage tax, you can't be saying, well, when I, you know, when I die, I want my ashes to spread over Anfield, which I'm a Liverpool supporter, okay? Um, because that straight away says, well, you, will, you intended to come back to the United Kingdom. And that happened, didn't it, with a famous actor, whereby he died in the US, was brought back to Wales as his ashes, and straight away the HMRC said, well, haha, we have you, because you came back after you died. Mm, okay, but your intention was to always come back to Wales or, in this case, the United Kingdom. So make sure that you have your burial site in the country you're going to be living in already paid for. That demonstrates to HMRC, say, hey, hands off, I'm intending for me to spend my days in Spain and my ashes and remains will be in Spain, as an example. You need to do the same thing. Sever all ties. Now, when I say sever all ties, I don't mean you have to murder your family. That, ugh, that's not really what I'm talking about. But what I am trying to do is minimize everything you have in the UK. So buy to let property portfolios, try and get rid of those. Your business activities, unless it's, it's going to be avoiding inheritance tax in both countries, UK and in the country you're going to, uh, then you might want to readjust that. Take off your companies, take those off offshore as well. Things like pensions as well, you might need to think about your pensions. They are not subject to UK IHT, but it does create a tie to the United Kingdom. So think about an international uh, pension, which again, we can provide you some guidance on that as well. So really, these are so important to get right. You do need to get some tax advice. We can help you with this, but it totally, like I'm doing myself, is possible to leave the UK and not pay any inheritance tax whatsoever.